Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is going to be random palettes that I think would be fitting for spring. Having said that, I personally don't buy into, you can only wear a certain color certain times. I say wear whatever makes your heart happy. If you wanna wear black eyeshadow all spring and summer, go right for it. It hurts nobody. And if it makes you happy, that's what matters. But in case you're interested in what I think a cute, fun spring color story looks like, we're gonna talk about it now. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, now is a great time to do that. I upload several videos every week. If you click on the little bell and choose all, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new one and you can choose to watch it or not. It's totally up to you, no pressure. Either way, I appreciate hanging out with me. All right, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time yammering. Um, this look is up on my YouTube channel as a bite-sized video with the new Nomad Royal Europe palette. All right, so first step, and these are in no order. I randomly just went through and was like, oh yeah, I think that one. Oh yeah, I think that one. And then opened them and was like, yeah, okay, those will work. So we have the Saga of Freya from Odin's Eye. I was going to just try to do like one from every brand that I really like and that didn't work out. So this is the color story. It can be very, very neutral, but you've got the greens and the oranges. We can be very springy and lovely and not complicated. The quality on these are absolutely fantastic. So it's a pretty basic, easy palette. I don't know that it's still available, but it was for a long time. So you may have it. And if you do, Maybe you want to bust it out for some spring looks. Next is a palette still pretty new to me. It's the Menagerie Sugar High palette. And this could be like really fun spring or summer. But I just think with some of these pastel-y tones and just like the undertone of these, it would be nice for spring. Not too bright and in your face, but still like, I don't know, Easter eggy if you want. Just, you know, fun, easy, colorful palette. And from Sydney Grace, I thought the Enduring Love would make a nice spring palette. This is pretty darn neutral, but look how pretty that is. So, so nice. Muted tones, which are nice for spring. You can go a little bit neutral and natural. You've got some purple, some blue. You got the black if you wanna go black. <laughs> it's just, it's a nice palette. And Sydney Grace quality is Top notch. Love, love, love every Sydney Grace palette I've used. Next is the Dollhouse palette from Blend Bunny. Again, pretty neutral, but with some of the shades in here, it can be, you know, a little spring ish. It can be very dark and gloomy and whatever as well, but it's nice. It's a really nice neutral palette. And again, quality is amazing. Oh, I think every Blend Bunny palette is amazing. So next I chose the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. This just has some really nice soft pinks and neutrals. A decent palette for springtime. It's a nice quality. It's not, it's not one of my favorites simply because it doesn't make me feel creative and want to play but if you just need to bang out a quick look this would be very nice all right we only have two left next is the solomon 2 palette from odin's eye this is again the tones just say easter eggs spring flowers all the things it's really pretty great quality love 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 this and i'm pretty sure i just saw that it's recently been restocked so this is a great palette. And again, I mean, you could easily use this any time of year. This is just some ideas. I always feel kind of silly being like, oh, use this for this. It's, it's makeup, it's not that deep. And then we have the Nomad France palette. I just, <laughs> Scream Spring. It came out last spring, so that makes complete sense. It's a beautiful palette, very light. So, you know, be aware of that, but really really cute and fun and lovely and just you know honorable mention 
the Nomad Royal Europe palette is out and available. And though more jewel toned, maybe it would be a fun spring palette too. So those are just some really quick thoughts on a few palettes that if perhaps you'd forgotten you had or were thinking about picking up but wasn't sure, I would recommend them. I think they're all lovely. So I hope this helped you to some degree or just maybe encouraged you to break out something you already have instead of buying new because that's pretty fun as well. Anyway, hopefully you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.